Welcome back to continuing coverage of the 2024 PDGA Masters Disc Golf World Championships. From Emporia, Kansas, it's the back nine of round number two in the FP40 division. Grant Zellner alongside Jennifer Allen, who's once again in two places at once, out there playing and now giving us some really good insight on how you all are getting around this course at Peter Pan with two things happening. One, the wind has arrived, and two, there are some last-minute changes you had to deal with due to rising water in the creek. So, really interesting situation. And you can see us warming up there from the shade because the temperatures are coming up as well as the water did, but this hole stays the same. 268 feet this is hole number 10 you have the pond coming into play right there along the left side as well as that mando tree that you must stay to the left of on the right once again we and we've seen this theme a few times already on both courses you've dealt with ob pretty near the basket yeah, all along, very tight, almost every single hole, as well as a lot of these holes really set up great for the forehands and they the lefties. sure <laughs> seem to be good for everybody. We've got two dominant forehanders here and a lefty on this card of four. So I'm going to try to do a little touchy shot with my putter, thinking that the wind would push it. We have a strong left to right currently, so I do stay safe kind of over there by those little nubbies. I don't know what those are. But they're all, all along. <laughs> Go the, with it. Go they're with all along this pond. Whoa, whoa. That was noisy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been such an incredible ace. And a stay close. That's always nice. You always wonder, like, if I hit the basket, did it roll away? Or... Mm -hmm. Sandy getting lucky. She really puts a lot of turn on this, but being a lefty and a very stable disc, it finds its way right back in front of the basket. Everybody with a putt. Yeah, I have this little bitty branch in front of me. And I'm like, man, if I touch this little tiny branch, is it going to do anything? <laughs> so I was kind of afraid to get it really high up. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you take one leaf and it like falls down. And other times you go through an entire tree and it like doesn't do anything to your disc. You never know. But I know that putt is in the basket. Death putt, nice little downhill putt, but probably circle's edge. I don't know, it's pretty far. These are close. Little gallery surrounding you. The, the hat game is strong with this couple. Yeah. In front of the van. I like that. It's been nice because we're not on the main courses, you know, so we kind of expected not to really have a lot of people watching. But when you have one of the top players in the world here and own and doing incredible things, she's so fun to watch. We had some people. Well, number 11, listed at 298 feet, this par three, also with water up the left side. Uh, left side and behind. This is the peninsula. This is a very scary dangerous hole um, even so much that you can proceed straight to the drop zone if you would not like to throw this tee shot because as you can see this peninsula is about 15 feet wide wow. and so um, you want to try to land over to the right side kind of pin high where you can just pitch over and the wind is very strong starting to really pick up now doesn't look like it from this tee shot but getting really windy and that forehand just puts her in the exact spot that's where you want to land your drive to have a nice safe three <laughs> if you want to be more aggressive be own scoggins and skip it across the pond okay <laughs> of course she turns around she's like oh did you see that did you I see what i did <laughs> yeah act like you did it on purpose did you see my good luck <laughs> mean mugging for the camera you know when you've played together for as long as we have we can do that to each other great lefty placement so being a right hand backhand having to go with a mid the wind is going to affect that disc just a little bit more gets me lifted up into the trees drops me safe but this is a i i did not even practice this i yeah. I, I almost thought 
about trying to lay short there and not go into the trees, but it was like a 130 foot jump putt. <laughs> It's safe again. <laughs> safe, but definitely wanting to be closer to the basket. Kari with a perfect angle to just lay things yeah. up. Yeah, that's, that's the play. If he could draw it up exactly, that's how I'd want to play the hole. Sandy yeah. running it. Yeah. But again, like it was absolutely perfect putt and almost rolled OB. So you have to be very careful own furious that the wind is not making her just be able to throw this in easily. 30 seconds, right? <laughs> but wind, no wind, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's Owen's Goggins. Off the water and yeah. in yeah. the basket, all in the same hole. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Got to be good to beat Own. That's all I'm saying. Cause and I know in ball golf, if you hit a tree and still manage to save par, they call that a barky. Okay. So in, maybe in disc golf, when you skip it off well, the she water, didn't call save it a splashy, par. maybe? She know. didn't say par. That girl got bo or a She got a birdie. So yeah, it, so it's it, even better. See, it deserves its own name. Yeah. And I really wanted to try to putt on the right side of that basket, but I thought if the wind drops because it was mm -hmm. gusty, I'm like, I'm going to putt straight into the water. So tried to putt it straight at the pole, but the wind pushed it definitely to the left. And that's, I think, the hard part when it's gusty versus like a steady wind. You, you have to really trust what you're gonna, where you're gonna place the disc. We're through 54 holes. It is gonna be an exciting championship Sunday. Evelina with what might have been the single best drive in the division. Evelina has been so good at throwing those direct lines. 2024 PDJ Champions Cup presented by Bushnell winner, Evelina Saladin! Here we, are, here we are at the 12th. I'll get the words out. 327 foot, this par three. Mando to the right off the tee. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> we is. have our OB road over there to the right. A ton of trees. That's the main thing. Trying to get a clean shot. And this is actually, I want to say it probably plays longer than 327. Um, I'd put this feeling I like at least 345 or so. This is a pretty good crush. Own a little low out of the hand. And if she makes a mistake, that's the only one I've ever seen her make in her life, right? Like just really the, the way she throws a forehand, just chopping it to the left so hard. Um, she sometimes has the tendency to get it a little too low and especially when the wind comes into play, the wind's gonna push or lift her disc. So incredible, great drive right there by the Estonian. Little air bounce there, sort of for Sandy. Got the nose up, yeah, and, and it's lifted a, straight into the canopy. It's a good play. That left side is so open. The right side brings in a lot more trees, and the wind kind of pushing that one down. I had the line I wanted. Again, a totally different disc than we practiced. You know, I this was never a headwind shot, and I bet it's blowing at least 15 gusts to 20. Again, you can see the wind just sucked it down, which is weird because it's a headwind. Um, so out here with the gust, you get in a wind pocket and it will do the opposite. So it's hard to read. <laughs> it was a little jumper here. Yeah, not going for it. Just laying it up because this is a very fast green. Um, no grass right there. And the OB is just behind that bush. So it kind of trickles down into the pond. Is it hard to make that adjustment when you know in most cases the grass is very, very thick, it's sort of grabbing, and then, oh yeah, but on this hole. Yeah, I think it's just something you learn. Another incredible putt following from what she started in the yeah. front nine. Right. Here's Sandy, the best number two putter in the world. <laughs> um, it's definitely something as a beginner golfer I don't think you really think about, but over the years... 
um, you do learn. And it, I think what it's hard is when we travel playing golf, right? And so sure. one course, like you go to Day Law, mm-hmm. and it's so thick. And then we would go to like down to OTB with thick grass or whatever. So I think traveling um, different states makes it difficult. But courses are typically the same. Unfortunate spit by the basket there is going to leave her with a bogey. Few teeth there on the 12th and we're on to the 13th, listed at 391 and uphill. Yeah, so this is a fun one. We get to actually air out a disc. Main thing, just keeping it straight, trying to hyzer it in in front of that big tree there in the middle. Stay out of the cedars on the left because that's definitely gonna make even getting par difficult for this hole. Plus, I'm allergic. Yeah, me too. (laughs) There is the street that is OB as well, but doesn't really come into play. I guess maybe if the wind really got up or you cranked one over. Might be a good hole for a roller, but not too many women that pull that out. So unfortunately, it was going to come back, but that tree kicks it maybe all the way through to the other side. Excited I get to throw something besides a putter. I had Yay! to feel good. Oh gosh, you have no idea. <laughs> a little drift at the end. You see the whiskers there to give you some idea of how close you are. Own doing her Jennifer Allen impersonation. Yeah, getting great distance as well. She finally acknowledges she can throw farther now though, so that's good. Gary has great distance, but this one turns into that headwind. She's going to stable up, I think, if we have the same wind, but stays lucky, does not go past that cable. So Sandy does make it all the way to the other side, which is nice, but also a very difficult shot. So she's trying to punch through this tree line. Unfortunately, that sticks up, but no two-meter rule is in effect. So this is her putt out. She had the perfect, oh, nope, different one, different throw. That was Owens. It was so fast. Owens we'll so fast. Owens is does, so she fast. She does play fast. But look at this window. Like, she couldn't have drawn that up any better. Like, I thought with the way she was putting and a cute, when you have that bullseye target, you know, I just, I knew that Sandy was going to make that putt. I, I would have bet money on it, and I'm not a gambler. <laughs> Here's Owen tapping out the par. And that's hole 17. You see some of our other FP40 players on right behind there. We'll Another there Estonian shortly. right there. It's awesome. All the international players we're starting to see. We were actually talking, Sandy and I, about do we think there will be a day that we will have a Masters World Championships internationally? You know, we're finally next year having our Pro Worlds International, like, Will the game grow enough that we have a Masters um, not in the U.S.? Something to think about. Yeah, I like that. Hole number 14, 396 feet. Yeah, this is a long downhill shot that the OB cable does come into play because not only is it the cable, we they take the painted line around this cedar. You know, I guess they knew we're all allergic. So that OB <laughs> comes in very close again next to this basket, like 10 feet. So wow. have to be careful. You see the high water river right there. And we do have a strong headwind. So I'm going destroyer. I was going wraith all practice, but, and this destroyer would have came back eventually, but unfortunately I'm going to get stuck on the edge of that cedar. So that is OB. I'm glad she didn't trip on that disc because she thinks she got it off the tee wow. pad. <laughs> Going backhand, playing it safe after she found out that there was OB by the basket. So she's just going to play it for par. Because it's it's kind of interesting. So this one probably should be a par four, honestly. Um, you will see the next one is a par four, and it's really short. So, again, it all washes out, right? Right. Like, but the pars are a little maybe off because I don't know too many of us that are going to get this birdie. Be one of those that we definitely have a nice 
long putt or even throw in for the two. So staying away from the OB, but unfortunately she's placed herself behind that big tree. Own really working that. I think the pig. And she has the biggest wind lift. Like I wish you could have seen it, but she threw that pretty flat and it probably rose up 20 feet or more. Luckily it did drop her on the correct side of that OB line. Little hopper there. And again, it's hard to be aggressive on those when the OB line is right behind. I've already had one OB penalty. Mm. So Sandy was safe. Bar's a good score here at the 14th. Yes. So after a pretty easy front nine, the back nine does play a little bit harder. And we head to the home stretch. Visit quirkygoodies.com today. We have over 100 fun, unique disc golf tees along with hats, stickers, metal wall art, and much more. Use code PDGA20 for 20% off. Here we are at the 15th, 325 feet. As you said, this is a par four, trouble early on the right. Yeah, it doesn't really come into play. So this was one of the um, holes that was changed. You can see back in the shadows is the actual basket we were practicing to. So this one a lot shorter. That is why it's a par four. So they changed the hole, didn't change the pars. So we didn't know that until afterwards. So this is a possible albatross. Like okay. We, we could do this. Take it. Yeah. Whatever it is on paper counts. Here yeah. comes home Scoggins. So we think we're all going for birdies here. We're going for eagles. That's right. Big birds. Yes. Once again, a hole that seems to set up perfectly for the lefty. Yeah, I think they could have put this one just a little bit deeper to give us a little more challenge. Um, the courses being shortened are kind of like do or die. You know, you they just the distances that you have to put a money shot and and make the putt. Tree, tree. Almost. And almost basket. Almost. Oh. The T-bird found its home. It's been a year. That T-bird needs another ace. Great wind Look bounce. This. Just working it. Little short. So couple that came in just short of the albatross. It's a good shot. <laughs> one for one so far. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, so that's back-to-back -back almost holes that just straight through for that putt. And it's not a hard putt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking to the T-bird, not the putter. Right. Putter stayed, got the eagle, as well did own. So three eagles and a birdie. Whew, that's a tough one. <laughs> a twinkling star frame? I don't know. Feels, yeah, like, it feels like it needs some kind of an adjective there to describe it. The 16th, 380 feet. We're keeping the distance up on these holes on the back nine. Yeah, that's not. It's this is not 380. I think I ranged it at 355, and it didn't even feel like 355. Um, I practiced with my T-bird one shot, and so I was kind of afraid once I ranged it at 350 to go up on a driver because there is OB that is marked over here on the right side around the back because the water yesterday was that high. <laughs> right. And we do have, it has been a left to right, but I think it's swirling. And so swirly winds, that's what's going to happen. It's going to push it down. How, how were the conditions on the ground with the water as high as it has been? Was it muddy or did it and drain pretty well? It drains actually pretty well. Like, because most of the places that we played were up, okay. you know, and so... 
if we had to get down in some of the holes that play into the along the creek there, I'm sure it would have been a muddy, sloppy mess. But we don't really have to get down into those. This looked like our depth perception is clearly bad. As with the aging, this is the master's division. <laughs> it looked like that just dropped next to the pin. So, did not, unfortunately. I feel like the pig is a new approach to this for Om um, that she's really relying on lately. Yeah. I don't think she used to throw the pig. I'm going to try to do some research tomorrow and give you a better answer on that one. She's dead on with it, that's for sure. And that's another putt that just so close. And you don't want to run it much higher than that. Like, it's hard to be even more aggressive because that drop in OB right behind Tailwind sucked it down. Yeah, I'm so used to seeing own approach with high speed discs and just skipping them in there well, or and spiking she used them and everything. Do, now she's I throwing think the rock. I think she had this mm -hmm. burgundy rock she always threw. So I don't know if she lost that. And then when she replaced it, she replaced it with this pig. So tapping in some pars. Heading over to the 17th. So hole 17 actually used to be hole number six, 351 feet, but it is one of our normal holes, just in a different order. Not a ton of trouble unless you really crank on it and go long there to the pond. Other than that, everything left and right is safe. What's the wind direction you're facing? I think we have a tailwind, but it's really weird because we have that valley mm -hmm. with some trees. So we don't really feel it, but it's probably tunneling behind us here off the tee. Lifts, owns up, and places it on a cute little branch up there. <laughs> Just sits there on the branch. Coming in on a hyzer, that's hard to do. Like no. that, She should get bonus points for that. Sandy giving it all she's got and just gets all the way up. That's in Sandy Outside range. circle two-ish, yeah. We know Sandy, that's in Sandy range. Knowing we don't have too many ace runs left and too many days left. I mean, I have two aces I on my goal to hit, so. <laughs> Get on that, Jen. I'm trying. Great. That Pin one, high, that's yeah, nice. it looked closer from the tee again, so I think we all need glasses because <laughs> our depth perception, we thought that, that one's more of a look. And just hanging it out a little too much to the right. She's like, I don't care about being strong. I didn't go to the basket. Yeah, a little unlucky <laughs> bounce there. went the wrong way. I thought it trickled down the staircase. Some concrete stairs over there. Good little pitch out from Own. So she's pin high, just over there on the concrete. Footing was good. Great, yeah, that'll work. Sandy pitching up. It's nice to see they replaced these flags. All that storm that came through bent over and broke almost every flag out on the course. <laughs> the wind took that and lifted it, so I thought I was in trouble and the tree almost made it for me. I, I saw that. You almost had a deflection there. It was like there. teammate there, the tree. A little backstop. So you can tap in a lot of pars and head to the last hole for the day. A new hole. 18 is going to be another one that was changed. We'll be there in a minute. The dynamic disc jury. Man, this thing's good. I love using it for my putter up shots or even just throwing it off the tee too. Real nice. I like spinning it for deep circle two putts as well. When the wind comes out, whether it's putting or throwing, it's just very reliable and I can trust it. And you know, it's even, even pretty solid for some little forehand turnover shots too. 
This thing's money. As soon as I got it, immediately made the bag. You should definitely try one out too, and you can find one at dynamicdisc.com. And here we are at the 18th. Yeah, so you can kind of start to see the basket tucked into the dark shadows there through all of this. I am curious if anyone takes this direct line because <laughs> you're gonna have to pass like 32 trees and bushes and branches. Um, most likely everyone's gonna go out along the left side, but I see where they put it there. It's a beautiful little setting. And hey, shocker, look, OB right there beside the Whoa. basket. <laughs> Okay, so Owen, you know, she's getting a little cocky. She's calling her shots. She's going to bank it over the little bushy tree, around okay. the other one, and, and she's going for it. She's not going to go to the outside, is what she's saying. She's like, I'm going to try to lace this through. Mm. And she almost does it. It... So she's still up there in own range. Yeah, a little you know? champ love there, too, rolling but all the way know, out under there. if she would have, have missed that tree she probably would have been underneath the cedar. So it actually, I think, helped her because she would have had a little more distance. So Sandy just playing it out there in the open, which is smart. Again, I'm having to go with the mid. They're going drivers. And so the headwind we're throwing into, this is a scary shot um, because with the mid, the wind can take it. But I put it nose up, hoping that it hyzers out, and it does. And it does. All right, looking. She's taking the same, same line. Thing. Yeah. And I'm surprised because she's such a great forehand thrower on the most of the time. Gets a un very unfortunate roll. We did not see that from the tee. Um, but yeah, I was surprised to see her go with the backhand. Up shots all around, Sandy yeah. first. And, and we did not see this either. Like... It's just so close to the basket. Very unfortunate. It does roll OB. <laughs> Own finessing this one around the tree because of course she did. I think she loves a challenge. You know, like the harder, the better. She wants something to have to shoot around. If it's wide open, it's kind of boring. Yeah. Who wants boring golf? Yeah. Like, you know, making everything. Yeah, from ADN. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I believe Sandy's taking her meter in there. So, that's going to be a bogey. And, and that's that. We are going to tap in our bars. I think they already thought I tapped in. Everyone's like, great round, walking off. I'm like, it's okay, I'm gonna focus over yeah. here. <laughs> Flash the major champion ring at him, let him know. Hey, give me a minute here, gotta yeah. finish up. And just like that, we wrap up day number two of this five day major championship on Scoggins by seven over yourself and Sandy Hindle heading into round three. By the end of round three, we've passed the halfway mark. Yeah, Stephanie Vincent with an incredible seven under round. So she's gonna jump up back to the lead card along with Sandy and I and Owen, and we're going back out to Swope. Gonna be a lot of fun. Continuing coverage available right here from the PDGA.